Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. I am Viraja R. And I'm David M. Harris. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. We start today with The Time of Our Lives by Bruce Jennings. Our time was not sand in an hourglass, but the space to be filled in the depressions left as we walked barefoot on the shore. Time was not seized, but displaced by pressure in the grasp of an empty hand. How many miles of beach did we walk making tracings erased by the sea? How many tropes and futures did we litter there rather than saving them for later? How many couplings were imagined side by side, then rolled smooth in the time we had? The Dark by Philip M. Mathis. To know the dark, eternal dark, is to know endless shadow, light in its grave, the nature of death. To know the dark is to know the world without curve or angle, without shape, without art or beauty. To know the dark is to know emptiness, the world without apparent object or motion, the world without time. To know the dark is to know the world without horizon, unbound and infinite, without end or edge. To know the dark is to know vastness filled with nothingness, waiting in a timeless world for the advent of light. Beneath the Bone by Bruce Jennings. Her hair was entwined and his entangled. That is the fundamental difference between them. Nor that for him she is what makes spring days possible nor that they walk together arm in arm. She poses a question by pressing his bicep and he flexes it in a reassuring answer. In seeking the single source of difference, one turns to the abundance of what is not different, saying, if only we could sort this out. Her hair has been lovingly braided all her life. Her mother did this for her when she was a girl. Now he gently brushes and braids her but for himself disdains a comb. She tousles his thicket and takes delight in running her fingers through its storm and stroking his scalp. Yet after all these years, she senses but never finally determines what lies beneath the bone. Leaving by W. E. Moth. Her voice was singing but I would not seek her out. I left the forest, caressing the lamb, last damp tree. Her voice was calling, but I sought not the smooth path. I left the lake shore, waving my image goodbye. Her voice was pleading, but I took the hard, rough track. I left the mountain sipping from its cool stream. Her voice was fading, but I had reached the pool. I took the white pill, accepting its bitterness. Her voice was silent, but I no longer felt pain, white to gray to black. The sky went from light to dark. The Argument by Rebecca Yancey. They flopped on opposite sides of the bed, their backs facing. Streetlights shone through frost on the window. A car crunched through snow alone at this hour. In the heated house, the refrigerator strained. At each movement, the bed squeaked like a rusty gate. She lay still. When she heard him settle, his breath slow, she eased a little closer to catch his rhythm. It was almost like touching, this breathing together. She took his breath and he took hers. A shawl to my roomie's shams. 
it's um, written for Dr. Isar Lee, my mentor and the founder of Poets from the Neighborhood. Everything that is good and kind, I am wishing for you. When this shawl wraps around you, keeping you warm and cozy, remember me with a smile on your face. That distance and years yet to pass between us will not have the power to dampen the flame you fostered with wisdom mentoring. The love and respect I have for you shall follow you among the stars in the dark sky as white cloud on a foggy day. Remember me with a smile on your face. The kind cheering with which you motivated me, kindling the flame of aspiration inspired by my mother, now dances freely in rhythm, prances joyfully in rhythm, rhyme, glow reaching far and out, touching the depths of hearts, moving souls, stirring minds. They say and call me a poet with a smile on your face, remember me. And I bow to my mother for molding me to the core like gold and to you my mentor for freeing me from doubt like a breeze to trust and let the words flow filling the empty spaces from my soul like the divine intervention of shams freed relentless mystic verses out of Rumi the flame that you roused in my soul will dance unhindered. When this shawl wraps around you, remember me with a smile on your face, keeping you warm and cozy. And this was written in 2015. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.